Hello everyone, this is Nico of Ready to Marry and to Mommy. And today, this is our 29th episode. I'm recording my 29th episode and I've been vlogging about um, things, issues, concerns about homeschooling, relationships, and marriage. And today, I will be talking about, let me read it para verbatim tayo ha, why do we need to define homeschooling and the other types of education during the pandemic okay so i'm recording this may 2021 in the time that ang iniisip ng maraming tao is that we will be over our health issues wala nang covid okay meaning we could all go back to the classroom safely send our schools safely sorry safely send our kids to school however hindi pa pala okay I know that some of us are still considering online schooling or maybe yung iba sa inyo nagpa-plan ng mag-shift ng, to homeschooling from online schooling to homeschooling or from homeschooling to online schooling. Now, I would want us to define what is homeschooling. Now, actually, last year when the pandemic started, I tried defining this via a Facebook post. Actually, hindi. Hindi ko siya pala define. But I mentioned there that it is um, it is important to define what we are doing. Okay? Now, someone said na parang wag na i-define. Kasi, I mean, in the time of the pandemic, dapat mag-support mag na lang daw tayo. Wag na i-define kung ano talaga yung gagawin. What is the difference between homeschooling and online school schooling? So, support na lang daw. Ang point is mag-aaral yung mga bata sa bahay. I stopped there because I didn't want to push, okay? However, in my heart, I mentioned, you know, ang naisip ko talaga is it's important to define our journey. It's important to know where we are going, why? Because it will be difficult, more difficult, extra challenging if you will just say, mag-aaral sa bahay, and hindi ko alam exactly kung ang gagawin ko is homeschooling or online schooling. Okay? So, it's very important to know your journey and to define your journey. It's very important to say that I am homeschooling, I am online schooling, or I am hiring a tutor for my kids. Okay? Face to face. So, this is very important. Why? Why is this important? Now, to begin, I would want to define first homeschooling. And as I define this, I want to also say that this is not or this could not be your best option. And I'm also not saying that this is the best way to educate our kids during the pandemic or kahit walang pandemic. I am simply here to define what homeschooling is so that Later yung soda. Ito ko na siya sasagutin. That's on my list. Okay. So, doon muna tayo. What is homeschooling? Basically, homeschooling is when the parent is in charge of educating the kids. From curriculum, what to teach, when to teach it, how to teach it. Parents ang bahala. So, that is what homeschooling is all about. That is what we do. So, with Risen, with my 7-year-old, ako yung pumipili. Of course, based pa rin to sa DepEd standards, ha, at least for me, okay? So, yung iba kasi, they follow international curriculum and all. But that's another topic. But what I'm trying to say is that, um, with the guidance of DepEd, with the guidance of textbooks published here in the Philippines, I decide on how to teach Risen, on what to teach him, and on when to teach him okay so that is homeschooling for us it's also a lifestyle because we do not have a specific schedule or a specific format it could be play based it could be kitchen based it could be reading you know all of these things so maraming options on that but the point is the parent is in charge now why is online schooling not homeschooling? Because someone else is in charge. Gano lang po siya kasimple. Sa online schooling, there's a teacher who is in charge of teaching your child. Alam, meron siyang set na rules na you have to face the computer and you will learn via the computer. Meron din siyang assignment, possible. 
possible din na merong seat work and I believe online schooling is something that you do every day. Tama ba? With homeschooling kasi hindi. Okay? Pwede Mondays to Wednesdays lang and things like that. Again, I'm not saying that homeschooling is better. I'm just saying that it's important to know where you are. Bakit? Ito na yung so that. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Number one is to manage expectation. Okay? May mga linya na ngayon ang parents na, bakit? Ano? Lukang-luka ako. Eh, pareho lang naman nag-aaral yung an- mga anak natin sa bahay. but parang ikaw? Relax na relax. Bakit parang ako? Lukang-luka. Parang nag-ahabol ako lagi. Eh, pareho lang naman tayo nag-homeschool. Okay? Now, if, again, you are doing online schooling, that is not homeschool. Okay? If someone else is teaching your child... If you are hiring a tutor who comes to your house, face-to-face teaching your child, hindi po siya homeschooling. Your education is good. I'm sure that your child is doing great. However, you cannot compare it to a mom or to a parent who is in charge. You gets you po ba ako? So, magkaiba talaga yung ye expect natin. Because with a tutor, he or she comes in a specific time, 9 to 10. So, kung ang mood ng anak natin is hindi maganda ng 9 to 10, of course, affected na yung tutorial, okay? However, with homeschooling, kung 9 to 10 din kayo, supposedly, at napansin nyo na parang butong to or antok pa or distracted, you could always move it or change the topic. Nag-gets niyo po ba ako? So, it is really important to define what you are doing so that you could manage your expectation. Alright? That's very, very important. Also, is that so that you could appropriately set goals. With homeschooling, it is the parent who will set the goal. This week, ito yung babasahin namin. Ito yung sasabutan namin. Ito yung sana na, uh, wag lang, o oh, sige, ito yung dapat matutunan ng anak ko. Okay? So, you could set that goal. Na ngayon, pwede nyo siyang bawasan na ko next week, mukhang busy ako, mukhang maraming, uh, maraming mangyayari kasi magkakaroon ako ng, mayroon akong ipapagawa sa house or mag-general cleaning ako. So, siguro ito lang kami. Okay, so you are able to appropriately set goals. Now, if it's online schooling, it would be difficult because again, someone is setting the goal for your child, for your family. Okay, next also, it is important to define what your journey is so that you would really know your why. Okay, kasi po minsan, um, Maraming parents, I believe, ang nagulat. Lahat naman tayo, di ba? Nagulat tayo with the pandemic. Nagulat tayo with the change of, you know, of of how our kids or children will learn. So, parang lahat tayo, wala nang choice. Okay? Wala nang choice mag-isip. So, ang why na lang natin is, eh, ano pa habang gagawin? Okay? However, if you know, okay, yung inyong why the deepest why on why you are doing online schooling on why you are doing homeschooling it would be easier okay po ba so yon so yung last ko which is very important not to tag one as another okay ayaw po kasi natin matag yung online schooling na homeschooling not because nakakaano siya na parang mali yung ginagawa mo or hindi yan dapat ganyan kasi nga po pagka mali po tayo ng naisip na akala natin yun pala yun, pero hindi pala yun. Ang magulo po talaga siya. For example, ano lang po yun eh. It's as simple as this. Um, for example, you're experiencing um, pain in the chest. Okay? So, ang daming reason yan. Possible is could be you have GERD. Possible. Acid reflux. Minsan, masakit yun sa chest. It could be um, because um, yung muscles mo sa chest, ayaw ko, may rayo mo ba sa chest na nangyayari? Parang ganyan, na parang kaya siya masakit. Or is it possible that you are having a heart attack? So yung chest pains, marami siyang pwedeng reason or baka stress ka, things like that. Now, if you do not know what is wrong with your chest, you wouldn't know what meds to take, you wouldn't know what to avoid and what to do. Akala mo, heart attack siya, so nag-ER ka. 
yun pala GERD siya, yun pala acid reflux la, wherein you could just have stayed at home and drink medicine. It's the same thing po with our journey, whatever it is. Whether it's online schooling, whether it's homeschooling, whether it's tutorial services, it's important to know where we are. Hindi po lahat ng nag-aaral sa bahay is nag-homeschool. Okay? Hindi po lahat ng mga bata that if they choose to stay at home at doon sila mag-aaral, is homeschool po ang tawag. Again, I'm not saying that homeschooling is the best. I just want really to encourage the parents to know where you are, to know what journey you will take, to know that if you're doing online schooling, to know that if you are handling, um, doing tutorial services, to know if you will be doing module. I believe the public schools are doing that and some students really thrive on that because it focuses on independent learning, okay? So, I do not have anything against this because these are all good options. But again, I just want to encourage you to know, to define what your journey is. So that again, you could manage your expectations. So that you could appropriately set goals. So that you would know why you are doing what you are doing. And so that we will not tag... Um, um, tag one as another so that we could appropriately see what we are doing why we are doing it okay so if you have any questions again on these things of course i would always want to help um you could always um pm me on my facebook page ready to marry and to mommy and you could also check my YouTube um, YouTube channel channel rather. Uh, marami na rin ako na upload. So as I mentioned, this is my 29th episode. So yun lang po. I hope that you will be able to define what your journey is, especially that papasok na naman po tayo sa panibagong school year. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.